It may seem a world away from the global economic matters being discussed in Lima. But it was here on the city's outskirts in the early 1990s where a young doctor began his professional life combating tuberculosis. That doctor is now president of the World Bank, Jim Yong Kim. The time I spent here at the beginning of my professional life was critical to my professional development. Given that the annual meeting of the World Bank and the IMF is in Lima this week, it seems the right place to start the conversation, listening to the same people. Kim reminded his audience that economic growth is not an end in itself, but a tool to fight poverty and improve living conditions. But the International Monetary Fund says that growth is slipping. The effects of an economic slowdown on emerging economies like Peru is already being felt. The question is, how prepared are they to handle a possible flight of capital if the US Federal Reserve raises interest rates this year? The IMF predicts if rates go up, emerging economies could see a rise in corporate debt and stock market volatility. While its chief, Christine Lagarde, was all smiles, the fund had a more somber forecast for Latin American growth this year, minus 0.3 per cent. Still ahead of the pack, host nation Peru was predicted to grow at 2.4 per cent. Speaking to CCTV, Peru's finance minister, Alonso Segura, said his country had $60 billion in reserves to deal with market volatility. We're going to grow this year around 3 per cent, despite external shocks. We're still growing, and not only that, growth in Peru has been accelerating throughout this year. I don't think you can talk about many emerging market countries whose growth is actually accelerating. Peru's neighbors could face a tougher time. The economies that will be most affected are the economies that rely more on debt flows. The economies that rely more on equity flows, particularly FDI, will have less effect. While Peru is better prepared to absorb external risks, Many of the emerging economies acknowledge they could lose hard-won gains in growth.